Sleeping outside every day is very scary because you do not know one day from the next when someone's going to come up and rob you, kill you, um, whether or not you're going to have a meal for that night. I've gone as long as four days for that meal. But the hardest thing for being homeless is not knowing what the next meal is going to be, when you're going to be able to clean, clean up, when you're going to be able to get new clothes, whenever you're going to get blankets to keep warm. You have to bear the elements. And sometimes that's very hard, and it's hard on, on you, both physically and spiritually, because you feel like God has abandoned you. My worst day would be the age of six when, when my father first started sexually assaulting me. It went on from the age of six to 14. It led me first to try to commit suicide. I was sent to a boy's home after that where I got sexually assaulted again and I tried to commit suicide again. They uh, it leads me back to my parents where I didn't want to go. So I waited for everybody to go to sleep and I got up and I walked out. I was raised atheist. I had no belief in God. I was raised to believe that once a person was born, he was born to die and nothing else happened after that. So I had no desire to know this so-called God, and so I avoided our calling. Someone come up and asked me if I would like to come to the life skills class, and they told me they had coffee. So I say, sure. I went there just for the coffee. I'm being knowing to myself, God has a purpose for me going there. And six months into the thing, I went up to a man that always introduced himself as Wayne Walker. And I asked him if I could accept the Lord. And it was through his teachings and the work God did upon my heart that I came to that point to believe in God and to believe that I could have a relationship with Him. Our calling is a ministry that seeks first and foremost to present Jesus Christ to those who come. We offer them other things like clothing, laundry, service, showers. No. But our primary purpose is to help them build a relationship with God through Jesus Christ and to come to know the Savior that we all know as the one who sacrificed his own life for the sins of the world and for them. The Apostle Paul says that I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it's power of salvation unto all those who believe. If you believe, then share that with other people. How many of you do that?